Hey guys, you know that uh, for the last six months or so since April Wilkerson introduced me to the Isotunes, I've been using them and loving them. Isotunes noticed and they asked us if we would be interested in sharing a 10% off coupon with you. Uh, up until the 18th of November, uh, use the code CRIMSON10 to get 10% off your own set of Isotunes. Or 10 sets of Isotunes because uh, everybody that you know needs a pair of these things. They are amazing. Bluetooth, um, ear defenders, and I am constantly listening to audiobooks and music while I'm building the guitars while protecting my hearing. Who can argue with that? Crimson 10. Icy tunes. <laughs> Time to put the shielding paint in. Actually, it's past time I should have done this. Should have done this earlier. Here we are. Somebody needs to set the intonation. Crikey. Anyway. Uh, we need a setup. <laughs> We've got a guitar. Um, needs a setup, the strings need to be, uh, needs to be stretched quite a lot. And I need to film what's on the bench, so uh, yeah, that will come next. <sighs> I do like finishing projects, I really do. Come on then.
So this uh, grew, grew bar, groove bar, it's the same height as the fret or just a little bit bigger. And then that gives me the, the maximum depth that I want my nut slot to go. And then the end result is that that gap there is the same. Sorry, the height of the string there when held down at the third fret is the same as the height of the string everywhere else. As you go up. Five more to do. These carbon fiber nuts are a bit of a bugger to file through. Okay. I have, I've gone and nicked a pre-wired uh, loom from one of our production guitars because, because I can. So uh, this is gonna be quick and easy. I am planning on doing a, a full series, what do we call it, uh, 10 minutes to a custom guitar, something like that. Um, 10 minute long videos on each phase of building a handmade guitar and it'll be full on tutorial and actual YouTube based guitar building course. So uh, now that I've said that in public, I have to, have to do it. Sometime next, next year, um, <clears throat> yeah. Those off. Oh, these new uh, CTS pots have uh, two on each one. Now this has moved. That has moved, it's twisted. Uh, I was hoping that with the addition of the veneers in there, it would be relatively stable. And it's also a fairly chunky chunk of wood, but it hasn't. Uh, I'm going to, at worst I have to screw it in. At absolute worst, I have to put um, three or four screws in and screw it down and, and we're done. And it looks like any other scratch blade ever. <sighs> Except it's not a scratch blade. I don't know, long week. Uh, for now though, let's see if it works. Uh, or do I put the strap buttons in first? I'll put the strap buttons in later. Well, I'm going to have to plug it into something, don't I? Oh, I haven't set up the intonation yet. Ah, intonation 
truss rod cover, strap buttons. But let's see if we have life first. Okay. She lives. This amp is a little bit loud. There are multitudinous lights in this place, uh, not to mention a soldering iron. Um, let's finish this build, shall we? No, I can't play. I, I'm, I, at this point, want to just sit down and have a mess around. But uh, I really need to sort the intonation out before I do that, because this is wrong. Crimson Guitar's very own custom wound pickups. <sighs> okay, so let's do it. Uh, tuna. Tuna, intonation, stretch the strings. Let's get some strap buttons in then. Because once I've done the intonation, I am going to have a play. Need to go hunting for some strap buttons. Thank you, man. All right. That back plate has put a downer on my day. Yeah, what am I going to do? I don't even know where to put the um, strap button on this. Well, I know where it has to go. Either there, which I think is the only real choice, or on the, on the point, but uh, it has to go there. Point of no return. Now I have had a super long one, don't I? I am, I'm not happy with this. The, the, the amount of movement I've got in that. Uh, but also, I kind of messed it up, really. I shouldn't have done those calves. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not happy. Um, every single person messes up 
and I think this back plate has messed this guitar up a little bit. Now, um, what I'm going to do is <sighs> these bits here, you see. Uh, and and I did that to hide the, the 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 way it was fitting, and it's just moved even more, and it's just not good enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve more of the back plate away, so that is sort of a relief carve kind of thing into the back as well. Um, and uh, I'm just going to refinish the back plate. Um, that is. There you are. Hi. Uh, that is not going to happen in this video series um, because uh, I'm filming this after it's actually started going out, so I'm, I've run out of time basically. I'm going to do that though, and we're going to screw it in. And uh, so go to crimsonguitars.com, find it on the website, and you'll see what I've done in the phone, final photos in two or three weeks, four weeks after the video series has gone live, I suppose. Disappointing. Normally, normally, what I'm disappointed in in the build is something relatively minor. That's not. So there we go. Anyway, uh, trust recover. Then we're done for a for a given value of done. It's not quite finished, it's not quite done, um, and I am not as happy with this as I normally am at the end of a build. Uh, I, I, I think I overcomplicated the back plate. Um, there are some spots where the finish isn't quite um, as good as I would like, um, and I'm seriously considering refinishing it. Uh, very basically, this silky yoke is stunningly beautiful. And uh, the conversation went, do you think, this is me to the finishing department, do you think we need to uh, seal this with, I don't know, cactus juice or resin or something like that prior to lacquering? And the finishing guys went, nah, it'll be fine. We'll flood it with uh, polyurethane, I think you said. And uh, it has still sunk in a few places and took a lot longer to get to a point where it wasn't actually actively sinking than we had hoped, which is why I'm only finishing this after the beginning of the series has aired, really. We ran out of time. However, <laughs> was the back plate. I could cry. However, this is beautiful. Um, this is going to be uh, around for a long time. We're not, we're not selling this guitar. I'm going to keep it and play it and love it. I am going to uh, refinish the back plate at the very least and do some carving. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's got a good sustain, it's got a good sound. And, uh, and overall, I'm very happy. 
Thank you very much for watching. It has been, it has been a journey from the insanity of uh, the, uh, the students' workshop downstairs to uh, the quiet, completativeness of my studio up here. Um, yeah, please click like and subscribe. Consider supporting our Patreon because that helps keep this whole thing going. Um, follow us on Instagram and uh, YouTube. You're on YouTube already. But uh, yeah, most importantly, this is one of many, many builds. There are, uh, I've now been making videos for a, a good number of years and there are a lot of different builds on there um, from taking a great kit guitar and making it awesome, which was a fun one, uh, to timed builds where I built them in nine hours or 12 hours or six hours, um, etc. If you haven't watched that sort of stuff, please go and check it out and uh, let me know what you think. I see pretty much every comment and uh, we'll try and reply to as many as possible. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Backplate or no? I'm going to go plug it in and have a play. I need to get a, somebody to do a demo of this soon. Anybody uh, a, a demo guitarist in our area? Give us a shout. Is that backplate? <sighs> Dagnabbit. <sighs> ah! The, the pins where it's supposed to wedge in aren't currently wedging because there's so much lacquer on it. I still need to stretch some strings. There's my coffee. There's my coffee. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to use the code CRIMSON10 to get £10 off your own pair of isotunes. They're amazing. I love them. So will you.